Russian with passion. Today we're going to discuss a very complicated topic. Actually, in English it's not that complicated, it's quite logical, but in Russian, well, as you can guess, Russian is not a very logical language. So, we are going to talk about time, how you can ask what time it is and how you can understand the answer or answer yourself. So, let's start with the question itself. How can you ask what time is it? Который час? What time is it? Or any other ways? Сколько времени? Yeah. That is very simple, or you can formulate it in a more um, polite way. Yeah? Подскажите, пожалуйста, сколько времени? Yeah, or не подскажите, сколько времени? Something like this. Uh, okay, what else? Um, now we are going to discuss the ways how you can answer this question or somebody else so that you would understand. First of all, let's talk about uh, exact time when, for example, it is 5 o'clock sharp. Часов. Or часов ровно, if you want to underline that it is 5 o'clock sharp. Then we can talk about noon. Полдень. Or midnight. Полночь. Yeah, so полдень, noon, полночь, midnight. Then there can be a situation when there are several minutes left before the next hour starts. So in Russian, how do you say that? Без пяти четыре. It is 5 to 4, or 5 minutes to 4. You can say 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes. So how is that? Без пяти четыре, без десяти четыре, без пятнадцати четыре, без двадцати четыре. And that's it, I guess. Yeah, so we do not say anything else. In this case, uh, the first number which you say is minutes. And you say it in the gen uh, genitive case. So the ending which you are supposed to use here is E. But there are some exceptions. For example, без, одна, без одной минуты, без двух, без трех, без четырех и без сорока. Although we do not say uh, it is 40 minutes till 4 or it is 40 minutes to 4. We do not say that. So без сорока, it's not actually that important. Без одной минуты. Без двух, без трех, без четырех, четыре. Без четырех минут четыре. So it is one, two, three or four minutes to four. Okay, and now we get into the hardest part of the Russian language. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when, for example, five minutes passed after two or one, how do we say that? Пять минут второго. So, five minutes past one, right? Yeah, this is how. But notice that Vera says пять минут второго, but in English it is five minutes past one. So here you are supposed to extract one hour. Be very careful. Let's uh, well give some more examples. So can you give some more examples? Десять минут третьего. So it is ten minutes past two. What time? Okay, what time is it now? Let's see. Сорок минут девятого. Yeah, so it is, it is 40 minutes after 8, as you can see. Okay, so here you can say any number of minutes. It doesn't matter. You can say 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 59 minutes. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Тринадцать минут четвертого. Yeah, so you can say 13 minutes past 3 and so on. But the general rule here is that you should extract. Yeah, do not forget that you extract one hour. And in addition to that, we say uh, the first number is cardinal number. 20, 20, 30, 40, 5, 6, 13, and so on. So it is a cardinal number. But the second one, it is порядковое числительное. So you say 5 минут второго. And moreover, it's not only that, but it is also used in genitive um, case. Yeah, so in this case, you, uh, in this situation, you use uh, the ending of. It is uh, spelled ogo, but it is pronounced over. So can you give some more examples? Seven minutes pятого. So it is seven minutes past four. One more. Четыре минуты десятого. So, 4 minutes past 9. In addition, we can also talk about 30 minutes. So, in English, you can say uh, half past uh, 7, for example, and you can say half 2. 
7. Although it sounds not right. So usually we say half past 7. In Russian, what do we say? Uh, Pol Simo. Yeah, so we say Pol, like Palavina, half. But it is shortened. We do not say, ah, we say Palavina Sigmova two. Sigmova, it yeah. is possible. So two ways, Palavina Sigmova or Pol Sigmova. And in both ways here we mean uh, 6.30 or half past 6. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. The basic information about how you can ask what time it is and how you can answer and understand what other people say. I guess that now your brain's in a mess. And I and totally explode. understand, yes, so uh, we understand, but we'll try hard. Russian is a very difficult language, but it is wonderful. So keep studying Russian with us, and we hope that you enjoyed this video lesson. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel, so follow me, and hope to see you later. See you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Мы уже вот вот это все объяснили, конец только остался, вот этот тупой самый. Окей, okay, сейчас скажем, сейчас начнется сложная хрень. Окей, okay, now.